10 players who refused to play. Carlos Tevez. The forward was a hero at Eastlands when he arrived in 2009, but things were beginning to turn sour in 2011. Following transfer requests and being stripped of the captaincy, Tevez hit breaking point in a Champions League game against Bayern Munich. The Argentinian started the game on the bench and then refused to come on as a substitute when told to get ready by Roberto Mancini. Tevez was suspended by the club, with Mancini stating he would never play for Man City again. Six months later, Tevez was back in a sky blue shirt, setting up City's winner against Chelsea and helping them win their first Premier League crown. He would last just one more season at City before joining Juventus and then headed back to Boca Juniors, and he is now the highest paid player in world football at Shanghai Shenhua. Dimitri Payet After a sensational first season at West Ham, Dimitri Payet seemed like the most wanted man in football, with the likes of Barcelona and Real Madrid interested in the playmaker. Following a successful European Championship with France, Payet would stay with West Ham as they moved into their new home. A difficult start of the season for the Hammers saw Payet struggle to recapture his best form. Come January, Slavin Bilic revealed that Payet didn't want to play for the club any longer, and negotiations began for a move back to Marseille. Payet was kicked out of the West Ham WhatsApp group and had his car vandalised before running back to France for £25 million. Paul Merson Refusing to play for your club doesn't just happen at the top of the game, it can also happen at non-league. The former Arsenal man joined Tamworth in 2006, but it would only last two games. Merson was dropped to the bench for an away game against Grey's Athletic, which saw Tamworth go 2-0 down and get a man sent off within the first 12 minutes. Merson was then asked to warm up and get himself ready to go on, but said there was no chance. He didn't receive his 35 quid and retired just a month after joining the club. Craig Bellamy The ever-controversial Welshman also down tools, throwing a strop at Newcastle back in 2005 during Graham Sooners' tenure. The Magpies were set to take on Arsenal, but Craig Bellamy refused to play on the right side of midfield and then stated he had an injury. However, Bellamy would then admit that he was actually fully fit. The forward was fined two weeks wages, shipped out on loan to Celtic, and allegedly told by captain Alan Shearer that he'll knock his block off if he ever returned to Tyneside. In the summer of 2005, Bellamy wisely moved to Blackburn. Pierre van Hooydonk After helping Forrest return to the Premier League in 1998, the Dutchman was promised that the team would be strengthened so that they had a good chance of surviving in the top flight. However, these promises weren't kept, with his strike partner Kevin Campbell being sold, as well as captain Colin Cooper. Van Hooydonk asked to leave, but his request was rejected, and he then decided to go on strike. Forrest continued to reject offers for their forward, with the standoff lasting until November when Van Hooydonk returned to action. He would make sporadic appearances as Forrest were relegated again, and his teammates wouldn't even celebrate with him when he scored. Fernando Forestieri Sheffield Wednesday were rocked at the start of the season when their main man refused to play against Norwich, following interest from Newcastle and Derby. Carlos Carvajal stated that the forward wouldn't be leaving Hillsborough though, and Forestieri would then apologise for his actions, stating he never actually wanted to leave. So what exactly was all the fuss about? Chris Sutton It may be hard to believe, but back in the day there was actually an England B team. Glenn Hoddle was in charge of the national side in 1998, and left Sutton out of his squad for the World Cup, instead demoting him to the B team. The Blackburn forward withdrew from the second string, stating he wasn't interested in playing for anything other than the senior squad. Sutton would never play for England again, meaning he won just one cap for the three Lions, which lasted just 11 minutes, and he can now be seen trying to be really controversial as a pundit. Eric Dyer Sutton wasn't the only one who rejected the chance to represent his country, but Dyer's reasons were a lot different. In 2014, Dyer asked to be withdrawn from Gareth Southgate's under-21 squad so that he could focus on his Tottenham career, whom he had just joined that summer. There were no hard feelings, and Southgate allowed Dyer to miss the friendlies against France and Germany. The decision wouldn't hurt Dyer, who was now a full England international and a key figure under Maurizio Pochettino at Tottenham. Not all of these players are villains. Dimitar Berbatov Maybe the Bulgarian just likes to play with people's emotions. In 2007, Berbatov was dropped by Martin Yol for a game against Newcastle, and then initially refused to come on, but would then reluctantly trudge onto the pitch. One year later, Berbatov would pull a similar stunt, refusing to play for Juan de Ramos amid interest from Manchester United. Spurs would cave in and give Berbatov what he wanted, signing for the Red Devils on transfer deadline day in the summer of 2008, despite the newly rich Manchester City attempting to hijack the move. Charlie Taylor The latest player to down tools and refuse to play, the left-back has been set to leave Ellen Road for a while now, 
with his contract due to expire this summer, but he ruined his reputation on the final day of the season by refusing to play in Leeds' final game against Wigan. Following the 1-1 draw, manager Gary Monk came out to explain Taylor's absence, stating that he had been terribly advised like he has been all season. The youngster can expect to be on the end of a chorus of boos whenever he next plays at Ellen Road, and let's just hope he doesn't somehow join Man United, otherwise he might not make it out alive. So those are our 10 players who refuse to play, let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.